The first chemical reaction I ever saw, dropping elemental sodium into a sort of large basin of water, burns a bright purple colour, it flies around all over the top of the water in a sort of wild way. It's definitely something that stuck with me. My name's Liam Martin and I'm studying for a PhD in chemical biology. I decided to take on the MRES because I thought it would be a good stepping stone towards a PhD. It was really put into context for me how much chemistry could be used to affect public health. The completion of the MRES gave me the opportunity to then proceed forward and undertake a PhD on the Wellcome Trust Interdisciplinary Programme, studying computational, structural and chemical biology. Currently I'm working on developing new drugs to try and fight antibiotic resistant tuberculosis, which entails making a number of different compounds which have very small structural differences. I like the lab environment a lot. It's very collaborative. I mean, everyone's kind of in it together. You work as a team. It's nice to be around people who are your friends, but also teach you and help you develop as a scientist. I'm from Glasgow. There's an interest in music scene, I think, especially in electronic music. So it's something I always enjoyed in Glasgow when I lived there. I got into like, my first metal band when I was like 13, 14. We just got into some sort of pay-to-play local gigs with like five bands on the roster. You know, just your friends would show up. In London, I can go out in Brixton, I can go out in Camden, and all these different places. I think there's a lot of good venues to go and see live music. I listen to jazz when I'm working just to sort of zone into the work that I'm doing. It allows me to focus. You're not thinking about anything else, just in the moment. One of the key things that I like about drug design is that I have the potential to impact the lives of millions of people with my work. The ultimate objective is to develop a novel antitubercular compound, which we can then use to save millions of lives.